Hey everybody, it's Alex here from iDesign Solutions. Really excited to talk about the new VexCode V5 blocks. It was just recently released in its preview state, and I absolutely love it. Um, I think this is their best version of graphical or block style programming yet. I think it's never been easier to get into programming. If you're using the V5 or the Vex EDR, you're really going to love it. So if you don't have the software yet, you can find it right on the Vex EDR page. Go to Products, then Vex Code. Click the download up in the top right, and that will bring you to all your different options. Um, so they've really tried to do the exact same formula for IQ and V5, and I think this decision is absolutely awesome. Um, I love the VEX code IQ blocks, and I love the V5 as well. So when you open up your first program, here's what you're going to see. Go in the top left in the file menu is where you open recent programs. You can open up example programs, templates, as well as sample code. Um, you can also sort by different categories and stuff as well, which I think is really cool. Um, and they also have full tutorials that explain things like the competition template, um, dragging and dropping your first blocks, and how to you know, navigate the user interface. You pick one of the eight slots that you're going to download your program to, and you can also name your program and save it in the center bar. And in the top right is your brain interface. So if you click on the icon when nothing's connected, it will show that it will show a white, no, um, no information displayed. And now let's go ahead and plug in our V5 brain. You see that it turns green right away. And now we see all the information. We see our firmware is up to date. And if it wasn't, we could go ahead and update right through this software. Now let's start with our very first program. Let's just print hello to the V5 brain. So let's just drag out this first block and go ahead and download and run our program. And you should just see hello printed right to the screen. And that lets you know that your download was successful. All right, so let's look into devices. So here's all of your V5 devices. And you can also click on the three wire ports and it will show you all of the old legacy motors, legacy um, sensors, and everything else that was previously available. But let's just focus on the V5 devices, specifically a motor. So let's get our very first motor started. We're going to name port three the claw motor. We can also name the different directions. Um, so when we reference them later, we can have a better idea of what it's actually going to do. You can also change the gear cartridges and reverse the motor as well. And now that we have a motor, you see that we have a ton of claw commands or motor commands, sorry, on the left side. So let's drag out just a basic spin the claw motor close for 90 degrees. Let's download and run this and see what happens. So this claw motor just closed slightly. That's great. It's going to be awesome for manipulating a cube or grabbing onto any object. Now we could do um, that same process for all of our other motors, but we're also going to set up a drivetrain. And that just makes it a little easier because you set the left and right motors and you can set all these different settings. So your um, VEX code knows exactly what you're working with and how much output to get a desired distance. So now that we have our these all drivetrain commands, we can drive out, we can drag out a drive forward for 12 inches command. And since we set all of the settings for our drivetrain, it's going to know exactly how much it needs to drive to get that 12 inch output. So we have our drive for a foot program and we can either run it from the top right, or if you've ever used V5, you can actually run um, any program from the controller. So you just navigate through the programs, navigate the uh, program you want and hit run. And there's our drive forward for 12 inches. Now that we have our motor commands, our drivetrain commands, we can string them together to make a little more complicated autonomous routines. So this should show you a, just a very simple intro to VexCode V5 blocks. And if you have any questions or if you were interested in learning a little bit more, we do have a series of free webinars coming up, as well as a couple teacher training and professional development sessions that you can find located on our website. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.